Hi, hi, welcome to One More Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our journey in discovering one new Chinese expression a day. And yesterday we talked about the Chinese expression for English hearsay. It's corresponding pretty nicely because we have a here in the front and a say in the back. But in Chinese expression, we add the condition, the condition or the source of information, which is what you hear on the road and what you what you say on a trip. So that's a Chinese way um, to hear say. Today we continue with dao, in dao, mao, an, ren. Okay, this Chinese expression still pretty much alive today. Uh, that we still hear a lot. Uh, dao, mao, an, ren. When we talk about somebody, dao, mao, an, ren, um, is it's somebody who is probably accomplished uh, or you know get to a certain recognition in society that they uh, are put in a pos position that that's expected to be morally high ground. And but the truth is, it's not. It's uh, like a beast or a monster in American language. So somebody who is not behaving as expected in that in their social position that's one version in a like a bigger scale or we can use it in a smaller scale it's simply judging somebody by how somebody looks like somebody put a straight face uh, when talking to you but um, inside that person probably you know thinking differently it's not uh, the appeared seriousness at all it's somebody who is saying something they don't believe in themselves but they appear as as if they are you know pr promoting some ideas so that's a, another um possibility of using this but in any case it's a negative word on somebody who is not um who is not being honest okay so again we have this walking sign uh, made up with the three toe foot symbol paired with three stroke foot step so that means the foot is taking steps so that's our most basic way of um walking to define walking okay the right side is the nose bridge with two stacked up nostrils uh to to kind of zoom in on the center of the face like that's the face fe facial features in the center and then we draw a big line all around it to mean okay it's the whole head we're talking about, about not just the face even if the other organs like the eyes eyebrows mouth ears are not appearing because we need the efficiency right so just that and with that that means the whole head and now the head is made even more obvious by putting the hairs on top of the head so the hairs are actually going upward like when do you think somebody's hair is going upward it's somebody either they're drop uh you know jumping from high to low right so the the air kind of a float um that means the end of the hair is pulled connected to the body so it's going with the weight of the body, right? But the edge, the end of the hair are going up, up, lifted up by the wind. And so it's kind of creating an effect of that. That's one possibility. Second possibility is this person's hair was handheld, pulled upward uh, by somebody else. Like who is that somebody else? It's most likely the killer of that head. So this was talking about the ancient times of practice of taking off the head of the higher ranked uh, military leader in your opponent camp that when you do are you know brave enough fortunate enough or you know be uh be good enough to kill somebody um higher rank you want to claim your reward by cutting off the whole head so this whole head holding by the hand therefore the hairs are going up or anti-gravity and that's just a very bloody way to remind people that's the whole head we're talking about so the whole head walking that means you're walking with your you're heading toward somewhere some meaning or purpose of your walking you're not walking aimless aimlessly or randomly through life so here was about talking about life's journey and i just want to <laughs> see uh in in the last episode I translate as road, which is kind of 
uh, contemporary Chinese, we don't really think too deep about this character anymore. We don't attach, you know, the lifespan of walking into this um, into this character anymore. A become just a road, just like Rue Cru in French, right, or Avenue in English. Like there's nothing special about it. But actually, in this phrase, when we say Dao Mao An Ren, I translate as Tao. Um, so Tao. Therefore, we have a spirituality or a higher aspiration to this character. Uh, it's the Tao, the way, right? A pretty abstract um, meaning. It's not just life's journey, probably. It means the nature's way. It's beyond your understanding, but you're trying to find out the plan or the road, the right path. You're trying to figure out things through life. And that's Tao, the you know, higher ground kind of Tao. Now, we have pair it with Mao. That means appearance, on totally from the appearance, it almost like somebody who's so spiritual, so like know what they're doing, so put together, right? Um, this Mao came from almost like an animal look like because, okay, humans wear two legs standing animals. That's the definition in, in Chinese characters. And now we see side views, four legs, because, okay, in frontal view, draw full legs, four legs, it's not easy, right? So side view, we draw out the four legs, that's more easy. So here, four legs animal with big head, and you can imagine all kinds of, you know, animal beastly, probably big cat kind of animal, right? Um, and then the right side is, again, it looks the same, right? That means the head. And now this head is attached to a human body. So that's two legs standing human body. And the emphasize is kind of zoom up, uh, almost like a cartoonish um, human head, right? It's like big headed human uh, over there. And the emphasize is, okay, this is talking about somebody's face, somebody, because we probably distinguish person to person more by looking at the face. Um, it's the best teller uh, part of your body that can tell who is who the owner of this body, the whole body is, right? So therefore the, the face got zoomed up. That's the main identifier um, visually place for for you to, to check out that person. And also we, I mean, culturally, I guess all the culture, cultures so, um, they're judging people by their look, right? By how their face look like. And now paired with animal, uh, a sort of beastly animal, my thinking about how language creators pair animal, the whole body with human, you know, the face emphasized to, to mean look, that is probably for, for look here, a culturally, you know, uh, embedded meaning of how we look. We should look at another person or animal. That means uh, we judge them based on their their muscle power, how, how strong they look like, how alert they look like. Um, and then on, you know, face value, based on the face value, we kind of uh, come to a pre-conclusion before I interact more with this person just by the look, uh, by their head or their full body, um, kind of tell their nature. So this is just by the appearance. And I'm thinking the animal full body, it means almost like you're reading another person, almost like with your animal instinct to assess the societal um, position of that person, right? Based on appearance, based on people's um, clothing or brands, right? That's the whole branding of contemporary consumer economy is based on. Um, and then this, um, so this is the look, it's totally just judging by the physical attributes on that person and the face is emphasized and the full body um, like your animal instinct level of reading, that's emphasized. So that's Dao Mao. So Dao Mao together means somebody just based on the face value, 
looks like it's following the tail, right? Now, an ran an is cliff, so it's a high ground. So we have this symbol that's on the frame, the top left corner. We just for a full frame, it's it's going to be uh wait, how did I do this? Okay, for a full frame, it's going to be four sides, right? So Chinese, we often uh emphasize high ground with only two sides. And that is at the top left corner. When they emphasize low ground, we use bottom left corner. And that means like a ground. And here is somewhere high, high ground, low ground, right? So this is high ground. And then the top is the mountain symbol. It's just visually three peak, three peaks mountain range. So three is already enough. That means many, many clusters of mountain together up to your imagination but this is the abstraction of what a mountain would look like three peaks mountain range okay and here is some weaponry probably it's a weaponry of well according to some scholar this looks like a, a how do you translate it it's the fish to catch a fish. It's, it's like a spear, right? It's to catch a fish. You fish, you 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 do this. Um, and then I don't know what's the horizontal line, but but okay, another uh expression. I mean, by the by the fish catching a sign, uh, that means um again in peace for time, this is you know, hunter gather society, you, you try to hunt. This is a, a hunting tool. But in wartime, you, you can hunt your enemy, right? It's a weapon. So this again means aggression, means you're attacking somebody. And um, so that's one reading and it serves as the sound symbol. So attacking hung high ground with mountain, I mean, mountain pl uh, plus the high ground symbol, it makes sense because it shows it's mountain means something high, right? at least something out in nature. And then high ground simply points out this is um, a higher elevated uh, from the ground level. And here the fishing tool, I'm thinking of, okay, so we pair it with the high ground. That means you're kind of on the, on the shore and then you're going to use a fishing tool to, to catch fish. And so that's, Kind of emphasizing here is close to water that you're going to need this tool. Um, I don't exactly know what's the horizontal line over there, um, but the whole thing is a type of tool to catch fish, supposedly. So fish catching by the high ground and um, with this outdoor mountain symbol, that means it's a cliff. So it's pretty high elevation from the water level. So there is a drop in distance from the land and the water. That's the cliff definition. And cliff-like means some, something that looks high ground. So this is moral high ground. This is physical world high ground. And the ran, just like a mao, mao is emphasizing look. And the ran is emphasizing the energy emitting from that. Um, okay, so this character used, uh, well, it's not a pretty picture either. It has a fire symbol at the bottom and a meat symbol on the side, a kind of like omega with stri uh, two stripes to emphasize the streaks of the meat. So this is the meat. And here is a dog symbol, symbol. so dog ears and dog front leg and the whole body simplify, streamlined. And side view, dog symbol. So dog meat over fire, so cooking dog meat. In contemporary English, probably that's a crime, right? English speaking world, like dog meaning, but it is in my language. Um, and I guess dog food back, back then, dog was treated as a source of meat. Um, and cooking dog, uh, eventually this food cooking practice used as um, a state of being. I don't exactly know where that transit, where that jump of logic is, but it 
it talks about the energy emitting over there. So you, if you're hungry and you're out there, you're desperate to survive and cooking duck meat probably smells pretty good. And that's a certain vibe uh, passing from that picture. So this cliff, higher physical, higher ground uh, vibe and this morally higher ground look is Chinese way of definition of hypocrisy. The best I can find in English corresponding hypocrisy in English actually means one's words doesn't match to one's acts, right? So you're saying one thing, but you're doing another. That's hypocrisy. That's like a double standard. You're telling other people doing something, but you yourself are not, not practicing what you uh, preached about, right? So that's hypocrisy in English. But here, Dao Mao An Ren is about totally of this person's air, right? Probably emitting a you know highly moral ground air as if it's looking you know on a cliff, like really physically high to visually to show that person really looks tall standing, looks so morally you know overwhelming. Uh, and then the truth is so that high looking almost like a hero savior image. Um, perfect, idealized in the view of the observer, and then totally um, flipped over by something very much to the contrary of what appears to be. So this observer's perception, I guess, this is perception against reality. That reality was not say was not said, but somebody who sound right on the moral ground appear to be on the moral ground most likely they're not going to live up to that so i guess it could be universal true if you sense somebody who is towering over you morally or whatever most likely that person is not up to match up to your idealized perception of that person so that's chinese way to describe uh, the phenomenon of what you do what you say what you see a different, okay, hypocrisy. Stop, mom, I'm done. Crashing into the currency of thinking by one word a day with Sophie. See you another day.